Oh, Geico. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Cat, and today I have a little Funko haul to show you guys. So for starters, I went to a local Hot Topic, uh, which is about an hour's drive away, um, because I was getting my passport done. Woo woo! Because I'm dumb and my passport is like expired by now, which is really dumb for me because I often go across the border to the states to pick up items that I've ordered online. So not very smart planning on my part. So yes, I went to Hot Topic, you know, I don't really have very much self-control. And I got two Hot Topic exclusive mystery minis, the new Series 3 ones. I didn't get anything super special. I got the Triwizard Harry Dragon Task, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And I got Mrs. Norris Filch's cat. Which, I love cats, being a cat myself, so, yeah. Unfortunately, no Hot Topic exclusives there. I just grabbed the last two that they had, so I tried. And also, from Hot Topic, I got a Funko Pop to complete my Stranger Things collection. Hopper with vines. Um, so, yeah. Because now I have 11 Elevated, Bob and Scrubs, Billy, Hopper, and I don't have the regular Steve with sunglasses, but I have the Hot Topic exclusive um, upside down Steve with sunglasses. So it's a complete set in my eyes, which is good enough for me. And he looks pretty freaking cool. Yeah. And also from Hot Topic, I got this awesome tank top that I'm currently wearing. It's just like Ravenclaw and it's so cool. It's faded out. I really love the color of blue. I love it. I wore it. <laughs> I've worn it like three times this week. It's become my favorite top. Not gonna lie because I am a Ravenclaw, obviously. I also got some hot cash from Hot Topic, which I was like excited because it says like it's valid through the 12th of July to the 22nd. But then I looked on the back and no, it does not apply. It is not valid for San Diego Comic Con Pops, which release on the 19th, in case you're wondering. But let's be honest with Hot Topic, it's never hard to find something to use this for, so yeah. If I don't end up using this, which honestly sometimes I don't, and I just have like a bunch of hot cash that just ends up getting thrown into the trash, I might just post these on my Instagram. So if you might want some free hot cash codes, you can check me out on Instagram, at the 10th Weasley, where I'll probably be posting them when I don't use these. So, yeah. And they're reusable for a couple of times, so this could be quite a few savings right here. Just saying. Now, finally, I was hoping that this would come in... I was hoping that something would come in before I leave for a month and like can't film anything, can't um, pick up any of the packages that I've ordered. So this is my Barnes & Noble order that you probably know what it is by now if you've been watching my collection videos. If not, welcome to the channel. My name's Kat and I wear this hat. I'm Kat in a hat. Ah, <sighs> bad joke. Okay. Um, See, I don't really like how Barnes & Noble packages things. It kind of makes me scared because I've gotten like a couple of damaged pops from them in the past. Like I got Neville Longbottom and he was just, his box was ruined. Luckily I don't go crazy about box damage, but I was like pretty disappointed. So that's something to watch out for with Barnes & Noble. It's just in this box with like this little thing. It just doesn't protect it if the box takes a hit. So that's awesome. The pop is just like loose in there. And they always send a lot of like random things usually to like food subscriptions or whatever that I've never once used in my life. So for my very first pop in the new wave of Harry Potter, the Barnes Noble exclusive Gilderoy Lockhart in his blue robes. Uh, isn't he so cool? <gasps> Love him. Ah! So as you can see he's pop number 59 which is the same as the regular Gilderoy. Um, the box art will be the same as the regular one. It kind of looks like little newspaper clippings or something. Yo, listen up, here's the story about a little guy that lives in the blue world. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue. Like him inside and outside. Blue his house with the blue little window and a blue car wreck. And everything is blue for him and himself and everybody around. Yeah, yeah. 
As you can see, they've gone with a different box design for this new wave, which is kind of weird because it really pops out compared to all the other ones are kind of like bluish and this one's like white. Although I really do like it. And on the back you can see all the common pops for the fifth wave of Harry Potter pops. There's Harry, Ron, Hermione, and there are Herbology robes with mandrakes that are all different. I like how they're all different. Makes them not so like, you know, they could have just kept the same body and just put different heads on them, but they didn't, so that's great. Ginny Weasley with Tom Riddle's diary. Heck yeah, I've been waiting for that pop. I was really hoping that like the first Ginny that was gonna be released would have that, but oh well. Anyways, I'm a huge fan of Ginny Weasley, so yeah. Uh, the common Gilroy Lockhart in his pink robes. Um, Tom Marvolo Riddle. Ooh, that's a nice looking pop. And Nearly Headless Nick, which just looks really cool. And there's also gonna be a San Diego Comic Con exclusive of Nearly Headless Nick Glow in the Dark, which I told you was rumored before, but now it's confirmed by Funko. And it's rumored to be exclusive to Barnes and Noble. And there's also a Glow in the Dark Moaning Myrtle, which is gonna be released for San Diego Comic Con. And luckily that's going to Hot Topic because I really, really want that one. It's going to Hot Topic, so that's freaking great. And as you know, there's the sepia tome Target exclusive Tom Riddle, the um, six inch basilisk exclusive to Target, and the 10 inch Dobby exclusive to Target. Woo, yeah. <laughs> None of those have been released yet. This is the only pop that has been released so far, or at least in Canada. This wasn't even released in Canada. Barnes & Noble isn't in Canada. Ah, what am I saying? <laughs> Uh, it's the only pop that I can get so far. I think the common wave of pops releases July 1st, which I have pre-ordered. And yeah, so far none of the other exclusives have gone online. So don't worry if you haven't got any of them yet. This is the only one you've missed out on so far and he might restock still. So you got a chance. And he's probably the most boring exclusive. I'm sorry, Gilderoy, but like just the color of his robes have changed. I mean. Love you, Gilderoy. Just kidding, I hate you. You're a really <laughs> awful teacher. But your robes are really cool. Excuse me, little girl. This is for the Daily Prophet. So he's just kind of standing there in his I'm superior to all of you stance, cocky prick, with his iconic hair thing. And yeah, there's a couple of like little paint flaws, but I don't really care. His like vest and the inside of his jacket are this really nice metallic blue and I really like it. Just looking at his pose, you know it's Gilderoy Lockhart. I love that they've done him, but to be honest, I really want Professor Slughorn. I mean, is that the only professor they haven't done? No, they also haven't done Professor Quirrell, which is cool because they could do like a chase or an exclusive of like Quirrell with his turban off and like Voldemort on the back of his head. That would be pretty cool. Not a chase, I don't like chases, an exclusive of that. That would be really cool. There are so many pops that I want to happen, but like for now, I need to calm down on wanting pops to happen because I have like, I feel like there's so many pops to get in the month of July. It's insane. Well, because they're all Harry Potter pops that are coming out and uh, I just hope that I can get them all and not have to go to eBay, yeah. So yeah, that is it for my little Funko haul here, plus this really awesome shirt. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please don't leave a dislike. Bye.